Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Kevin and welcome back to the seventh and final day of the Binding of Isaac here on Week Plays. Let's get things started here. Going to be playing as the blue baby. This could be fun. Starts off with three soul hearts and the poop. Yeah, I don't really know what his stats are like. But since he starts off with soul hearts, he does not have any opportunity to get red hearts throughout the game. So health ups are... Huh. So red hearts, or health ups are just uh, just soul hearts, so th th there's that. Um, anything that would normally replenish health, such as like a half red heart or a whole red heart, is just useless. Yeah, I'll take that, because I won't be able to re-roll it. The D6 as Blue Baby on the first floor. Well, okay, that sucks. But the rest of this has not sucked so far. This could be very fun. And with uh, not having red hearts, I can't lose red hearts to lose a chance at a uh, deal with the devil. I mean, I... Oh, God, that sucked. I just had to take cover right behind the... TNT, that was... that was smart. That's a whole heart down the drain. That's fine. I'm not gonna go into a curse room there, because that would take another heart going in and coming out of it. So, uh, it's boss time, I suppose. The champion version of Duke of Flies. Shouldn't be too bad, shouldn't be too bad. Am I nervous so far about how this is gonna go? Yes. Excited? Very. Yes. Am I just asking myself stupid questions to keep my mind occupied while I'm trying to take out a boss? Most definitely. Oh my gosh. Oh god damn it. I got stuck between a rock and a hard place. Almost literally. There we go. Some crowd management. Ugh. So, what are ideal items to get as the blue baby from bosses? Early on, I would say Squeezy would be a damn good one since it tears up as well as two soul hearts. And not being able to get any other kind of health. Oh, jeez. Is. Oh, man. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to think. It sounds like I'm trying to poop. But uh, makes soul hearts extremely valuable. Alright, he's almost taken care of here. I don't know if I'll get a deal with the devil. As I said, I'll have just basic chances with deal, uh, at getting deals with the devil. I won't get any opportunity taken away from me from taking damage because I do not have red hearts with which to take red heart damage. So, almost there. And a health up is just equal to a soul heart after that extraordinarily long fight. Down we go. I got no keys, no bombs, so this isn't looking too good. Curse of Darkness. Uh, Alright. I'm on basement 2 as opposed to cellar 2. With just under what I started out with health-wise. I would have loved to have gotten a key there, because I do have a reroll available now. <sighs> Once again, probably going to leave that chest behind. I will bomb that, though. And that worked as I had hoped. That's perfectly enough money to go to the shop to buy an item. Um, yeah, I don't wouldn't really help me on this floor, but buying one on this floor and being able to use it, such as the map of the compass, would definitely help out later on in the game. And that's how you walk into stuff. I was complaining about that uh, Maggie run the entire time, saying that I was going to have too much health, and now I'm playing as Blue Baby, knowing that I'm not going to be able to replenish health. And I'm still not taking the time to dodge effectively, or apparently aim effectively. I'll learn. I don't think I can... 
Yeah, almost. Ah, whatever. Shouldn't be too hard to do that like that. There we go. Uh, the good thing is, Blue Babies, you can go into any and all uh, trap rooms, the challenge rooms. I will take the super bandage because that was a couple of uh, soul hearts for me there. It said two. I believe that gave me three. That's an item that I don't get very often. I believe it's pretty rare. I don't know. I don't get many of the Meat Boy items that are in this game, with the exception of the cube of meat. Like, SMB Super Fan, I've gotten maybe twice. The bandage, that was probably my second time getting it. Yeah, these uh, boss fights are going to take me a little bit of time, but I think that that was well worth the, uh, well worth the hearts there. I almost dodged right back into that, but I'm doing alright. Should be chub time any moment. Or not Chubb, I, I did mean Larry Jr. I pictured Chubb, and that's oddly enough not the first time in my life I've said those words. Um, but I definitely did mean Larry Jr. This is gonna be... Okay, uh, Okay. not so bad, not so bad. I, I don't want to talk about whether or not I'm getting hit, because that has been very bad, very bad luck for me so far in the series to do that. So, just going to take it easy. One down. And gone. And I got a bomb out of that. I'm not going to complain. It's a, it's a bomb, but I think that was from my, uh, my sack of bombs. Now I would greatly appreciate a key. Somewhere on this floor. I've already found the boss. No key. Whatever. Basically wasted... The reroll potential of this floor, I'm not used to, I didn't expect to get the D6, and whenever you get the D6, it's almost never on the first floor. So, I'm kind of having to think with an Isaac mindset right now about, like, reroll optimization, but without keys, I guess that's really useless anyway. Speaking of the cube of meat, I will be getting one from this fight that is not rerollable. So, unless I get a deal with the devil, then, uh... My D6 is basically wasted as far as this level goes. I, at this point of the game, would really like keys. I keep saying keys. Damage would be nice, but I think keys give me more of a potential to get damage items. I don't think I can get anything that would give me keys from this boss fight with the exception of the box. Which I would accept the box, but I can't get that. I already said I'm, I'm getting the cube of meat. I know that. Ignore my my mutterings. I don't know what I'm talking about sometimes. The famine's almost done here. And there we go. Did get a deal with the devil, which are scary as the blue baby. Three soul hearts, which I believe all deals with the devil are going to be three soul hearts. I will take the pact because it'll give me two in return. So it's only one soul heart, basically, for that damage up. And I would love to take Guppy's tail and try to start the Guppy trading going, but that's probably not going to happen. Plus, I didn't want to spend three more hearts. That's the reason I didn't re-roll that also. So, yeah, I think I've... Have I cleared out this floor? That's kind of sad. Oh, I guess I didn't completely. This guy needs to die. There we go. Key. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Alright. That's no keys. I really regret using that one key that I had on the last floor on a chest. But I guess hindsight's always 20 20. You can never know what you're going to get. There's a. That was a catacombs sigh right there when I loaded into this. Alright, um, yeah, it took damage there. That was dumb. My damage isn't too terrible at the moment. And I thankfully, at least, though I am on catacombs, I don't have Curse of Darkness. 
But it is an XL floor. And I'm taking damage in every room so far. That's why I didn't take Guppy's tail. Other than the fact that I wasn't going to have keys to open up the chest that it was going to give me, I knew I was going to end up needing those soul hearts more than life itself, which that doesn't make sense because the soul hearts in this case are life itself. Uh, okay, that was a little, little, little nerve-wracking there. I would like to find the boss room's ASAP so that I can try to re-roll something and not waste the dice even more than I have been. But I guess that's not my fault. Oh, okay. Okay. This this will be nice. A key. Hell yeah. Now I need to find an item room, a boss room, something to re-roll. That was very lucky. That was not. I'm surprised I only took the one damage that I did. These guys even awake? Did they just like decide to go on strike? I wanna go in the curse fuck it. I'm gonna go in the curse room. Alright. Well, that paid for itself. Lost a soul heart, gave a soul heart. And time to venture on. Another <sighs> spider room. Wow, I probably almost just blew myself up a little bit. And I'm almost back to starting health. Which, think if I did buy Guppy's Tail, I'd be at half a soul heart right now. Saving my keys for item rooms. Saving my keys for item rooms. Oh, man. Come on. There we go. Item room. Damn it. Uh-oh. God damn it. I had no way of avoiding that. That was just... That was just crap. I almost walked into the other guy there. The reason I make such a big deal about taking bomb damage like that is because of that explosion takes an entire heart. God damn it. I gotta kill something here. Wow, really? I'm a little upset about all that. Not just minorly upset. I'm I'm pretty upset. Just gotta be careful. Almost opened up that shop door. That was not my intention. Shit. This is gonna suck. I'm gonna get hit by a fly trying to kill this. Shit. No, 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 no. Alright. What I'm gonna do is try to get this fly out of the way as well. I'm gonna have to loosen one. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay. There was a lot of shitting going on right there. That kind of scared me. At uh, down to one and a half hearts, uh, <laughs> I really don't want to be taking damage to. Why did I think there was a room there? I really don't want to be taking damage to flies. That would just not be the way I want to go, man. Shit. That's all I'm getting are flies and then enemies that cause that shoot bombs. God damn it! <laughs> I legitimately got a little angry there. This run started off very well. I gotta hope for a fortune teller machine in here. And then hope that I can get some soul hearts out of it, because if not... Well, there's two soul hearts right there. What are you? Two of hearts, you are useless. You are useless to me! Yeah, I gotta stay at 15 cents. Alright, I'm gonna go back towards that shop to see what's in there. If greed's in there, I might just throw my my monitor out my window. I'm not really that angry. The, the past few rooms here have upset me a little bit, but... I, I know it was, it, it's difficult to play as blue bait...
So I'm gonna play as Isaac. The game has already been a little forgiven. Gave me the common cold. What I was gonna say is I know it's difficult playing as Blue Baby, but it's not that difficult. Whatever. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm getting over it. I'm gonna play as Isaac. This is the last video of Isaac for the week, and probably the last Isaac video I will put on my channel until... Excuse me. Until I get Platinum God, which as we've seen will take a number of years. So, I'm not really sure. I do still plan to stream Isaac after it after this week. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else on this floor that I can do, so I'm just gonna go. Common Cold is a really good first item to get. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts. I'm also wasting my uh, D6 again on this floor, unless I happen to get a deal with the devil. I'm not too upset about what happened. I, at least I'm trying to not be. Damn it, I was trying to make him not spawn his flies at all. It's starting to get a little dangerous. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness. Alright, need some space, famine. Need a little space. It's not me, it's you. Alright, no deal with the devil. Cuba meat. I'm gonna leave that soul heart there and go to the curse room. I realize I do this to myself by playing super aggressively with the deals with the devil, but those are the best items, man. Really. I kind of give up hope at getting a deal with the devil there until I just got teleported there, you know? And at that point, I was like, it's a sign. It's it's a friggin' sign. I've, I've got to get something, and it gave me the pact again, so I am i can't complain about that. I'm going to play this the one time that I can in hopes of a key. If I don't get a key, whatever. Yeah, whatever. I don't really care too much. Common cold in the pact should be set for the cellar for the rest of for the rest of this floor. I mean, I would love a health up. Um, I'm probably gonna chance that curse room. This game really wants me to have Guppy's tail. No keys once again, so unless I luck out and get like the skeleton key or something like that, I'm probably going to be missing out on a lot of chests. Yeah, and it already, it's already started. There's one key. I don't want to accidentally walk into the chest with it, though. I want to go to the item room. I know chests have a chance of dropping other keys, but my luck with chests has not been very good as of late. Pick up Monstro's tru Truth. Monstro's Truth, yeah. Set it down, re-roll Monstro's Tooth into Polyphemus. Some This game takes me for a ride, man. I think that's what I love about it the most. Is that it, it toys with me. It has its way with me. It ravages me. And then... And then all is forgiven, like, immediately afterward. It just gave me another key. It blew me up and gave me a key. And it gave me a health up. It's like, no man, you made the wrong choice. You got Polyphemus, which is good, but we're trying to give you this free health up. So, you know what, I'm just gonna give this one to you. Here's a key. Have fun with it. And I was like, ah, maybe I should take it to the next floor. Okay, well, there that, that answers that question. <laughs> Whether I should take it to the next floor. I have one bomb, I don't want to check for the, the secret room. I'm just gonna go kill Widow, like... Oh, you bastard. Should be able to kill Widow pretty quickly. Spiders might suck a little bit. Okay, not too bad. 
And health up. Tears up, I'll take it. And what's in here? More damage. As long as I don't die. Common Cold plus Polyphemus should make relatively quick work of Krampus. Krampus is one of my uh, my most hated fights because I am terrible at killing him if, without taking shit tons of damage. I know his pattern, so I know when he's going to attack, I'm just terrible at dodging. But I, I'm doing quite a bit of damage right now, so he should be dead in no time. And Lump of Coal is a damage up. The longer your tier's on the screen, the longer, or the more of a increase in damage you do for that tier. Oh, man. This is gonna be fun. I've got two bombs. I think I can waste one of them. I'm gonna check above the item room. It could be in... could be right below me, I think. It could be right above me. I, th I think I'm just gonna check right here. Alright, I was wrong. I still don't know the mechanics behind it. It's okay. It's okay. I was kind of hoping for, like, the ability to go into the, the secret the, 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 the secret room to get, like, transcendence or the one-up. Something to give me a little bit of security. Or, in transcendence in this case, flight. But this game hasn't been treating me too poorly this run. It probably feels a little bit bad about what happened in that blue baby run. Uh, can I... Can you please jump over here just a No? Okay. You're gonna be a, a dick about things. You're gonna be a dead dick about things. Going in here. Lemon miss half. Alright, that's, that's quite a bit of a difference from, uh, from Polyphemus to Lemon Mishap. Rolling the shit out of that. Um, PhD, I think it gives you four hearts of recovery as well as turning pills into good or neutral pills and identifies them. Um, I'm gonna wait to see if I take some damage. I am more than likely gonna pick that up. I don't know. That might not be might not be good enough to take when I need like health containers as opposed to health recovery. I'll see once I get a reroll where I'm at. And this is Catacombs 1, not just Catacombs. So this isn't an XL floor. So the boss should be relatively simple to find. I may save that next reroll for the boss fight, as, or for the boss drop, as opposed to rerolling PhD. I don't know. What's in here? Ultra Pride. I am not a fan. I am not a fan. Oh, man. Those freaking homing shots, man. Those are dangerous. Alright. Alright, come on. The left hand is a good trinket, though. It'll give me uh, increased red chest drops. And it always does that. Like, I haven't unlocked it before. Every time I kill Ultra Pride. I don't understand. Try to clear out a little bit more of the floor before resorting to having to pick up the PhD to recover my health. I started up there. I knew that. Got to turn around. That's all. Uh oh, that could have been death. Red chests are scary, so the left hand might not be the best thing for me to have at. Oh my god! The level of health that I'm currently at. Fistula chunks. Just a kind of a joke, unless I get blown up by one of the bomb flies. Which would really suck. I think he's just stuck at the door. Alright, I'm gonna see what the boss drops and see if I want to re-roll whatever it drops or re-roll the PhD. Really? It's fine. I shouldn't get hit by this one. I've less to dodge and Oh my god, my damage is insane. Um, I'm gonna take the box. 
That almost killed me. That really almost killed me. What are you, Pill? You are range up. That is okay. Alright. Yeah, I don't think I can bank on the, the PhD. I don't think I can justify picking that up and just hoping that I will get enough pills to make it worthwhile. So I'm going to re-roll it into the lucky foot. <laughs> okay, uh, either way, I'm okay with that. I didn't really care between the two items which one I'd have. I was kind of hoping to... When I picked Isaac after losing his blue baby, I was actually meaning to select Cain, but I just kind of picked Isaac out of habit. So this is... This is strange. This is definitely strange. Catacombs 2... I always get the goddamn cellar, catacombs, and necropolis. I can't seem to get... Hmm. Really hoping that this would pay out earlier. I think I could have gotten four plays off of that, but I only got three. And I should not have even done that. I'm just like... Hoping for like really, really lucky things to happen. Also hoping that I can continue to dodge somewhat effectively. Nice. I'm gonna leave those two pennies behind. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I have to get out of that somehow. I just didn't know how to get out of that without getting hit. Okay. Okay, that didn't work out as I had hoped it would. But it's a health up. There is a way to get through there. If you line it up perfectly, I'm just not good at doing that. Telepathy for dummies. I'm going to reroll this room. I don't know why I just picked up a second telepathy for dummies. I did not need to do that. Book of Shadows, Book of Sin. Thank you! I'm not gonna keep the, the Book of Shadows. I'm just gonna take this to the Blood Bank in hopes of getting <laughs> the Blood Bag from it. Which I'm not expecting to actually have happen. But it would be a very nice surprise if it did. Didn't happen, but I've got enough money to definitely go to the shop. I think I did anyway. And I'm going to pick my D6 back up. Yeah, I've got to practice. You can get in between the spikes. You just have to be, like, pixel perfect to do it. And i have that was the first time I'd ever actually tried doing that. So, yeah, as you can imagine, it wouldn't work out very well. I've never actually seen it done either. I've seen people attempt it, saying that it can be done. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna do the boss fight quite yet. I'm gonna clear out the rest of the floor. I've gotta find my item room. I would like to re roll the library a couple more times. If I re roll the library enough and get all the books out of the library pool, it'll just be a double item room for the remainder of, the, of this run. So that would be even more beneficial to me than just re-rolling the item room. Unless the item room happens to give me absolute shit. Ah, I was getting nervous when I opened those. Tears up. And that was another range up because I already had that. Yeah, it's kind of funny that after I turn down PhDs when I'm getting all these pills. But I think the lucky foot kind of does the same thing with pills. I'm not positive. But it, it doesn't uh, identify them ahead of time. Oh, yeah, I was going to reroll the library. I never know if I'm actually making efficient use of the D6 because I don't look up there as often as I should. I know it's three rooms. That's all it takes to recharge. It's just three rooms. Pay a little bit of attention, Kevin. All right. Uh, 
I'm a little bit nervous about using this. Actually, I'm not. That should make me fight a horseman, which will give me a second level cube of meat, which I'm very okay with. And time to f clear out some more of the floor. I haven't found the shop yet, haven't found the item room yet. One of them should be this way, at least. At least one of them should be somewhere over here. There's the item room. Just don't get hit. Alright, almost back to full health. And I, I would not reroll that anyway. That's a damage up, a health up, and a bit of a speed down. Which, I like the speed that I'm at. But the benefits of the damage and the health far outweigh the negative of the speed down. Alright. Should be... I, I might luck out and get one more reroll on this floor. I might. I'm not positive. Depends if there are two more rooms with which I can fight in. In which I can fight. That That's how I should phrase that. Stop. Stop. Thank you. Yeah. Alright, gonna go in here. And it's super greed again. It's fine. I said I wanted to charge my D6, and he was very easy. Alright. I want to go to the curse room, but I don't want to use my or lose my soul heart quite yet, so I'm gonna save that until after the boss fight. I'm expecting a horseman. I think that's how the Book of Revelations works. When you use it on a room that is not an XL floor, you get a horseman that floor, I believe. Unless it's a set fight like Mom or Mom's Heart or Isaac or Blue Baby. Yeah. Famine at this point in the or pestilence, sorry, at this point in the game. Easiest boss I could I could I could have. I should have re-rolled the uh, library, but that's okay. I'm actually kind of glad I saved it for the potential deal with the devil, which I don't think I'm going to get. And I didn't. Well, that's okay. Back up to full health. Um, I'm going to use this soul heart to go into the curse room because I do have one guppy item, so I could potentially get another one in there and get a little bit closer. I'm really curious as to what this pill is. Whatever. cookbook. What I could try to do... Yeah. Oh, shit. Alright, this will make them all go off at one time. I might not get hit here. Alright, yeah. Going out and leaving the room there wasn't to make the blast radius more. Oh, it's a range up. Um, it was to make them all explode at one time instead of shooting each other across the room. Which I guess if I lost the soul heart, it wouldn't have been the, the end of the world anyway, because I am actually going to lose my soul heart when I go into the curse room here, which will probably not pay out because they very, very rarely do. Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with that. I, I fully expected to not get anything out of that room. I had to check it, though. I had to know. I want to know, have you ever seen a rain? <sighs> this is going to be a long one, guys. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's good for me because I'm having a lot of fun with this. I expected to have fun as Blue Baby, but uh, the game kind of just shit on my parade. Yeah, with this uh, <laughs> second level cube of meat and my polyphemus shots. Another range up. Yeah, this is, this is going to go quickly, I believe. I don't have any potion. I don't have any bombs or keys, so that kind of sucks. But other than that, we're in a very, very, very good position here. Yeah, these things are dying in two hits. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna have to clear out this room. No, oh, it's a fucking red chest. Yay! Okay, Guppy's tail. Or it's the left hand that's doing it. It's the left hand. I gotta get rid of this left hand. This is costing me nothing but, nothing but badness, badness. I don't think I've gotten one beneficial thing from a red chest other than Guppy's tail before I got the left hand in a curse room. And even that, and even then the uh, uh, Guppy's tail hasn't necessarily been beneficial to me. It just hasn't really hindered me, I'd say. Huh. 
actually worked. Poisoning these guys is nice. Kind of takes some of the work out of... Okay, never mind. I take back what I said. I got a key. I got a key out of that. If you didn't hear me, I said I got a key. I don't know why I said it so many times, but... Portable slot. This game has a, a sense of humor. Eh, you know... I've got the lucky foot. I don't see why I wouldn't play it a few times, you know? <laughs> I'm bound to win most of the time. Or not. Okay, that's less than 50% of the time. It's fine. I'll go down to 15 cents as if it were a library. Oh, man. I really thought the lucky foot was supposed to make me win. I guess it, it is? I'm just not having the best of luck possible. Um, okay. Little Chad. Alright, I was hoping for the D20, is what that was there. That probably wasn't going to happen. Balls of Steel, very glad I picked that pill up. Yeah, that, that works pretty well. I do have a bomb to blow up this tinted rock, actually, now. And I'm going to open that chest and get a speed up. And I got into the top secret room, which contains Fortune Teller. I think I'm bound to win nearly every time. Pinky Eye, I'm trading the left hand. The left hand has not been good to me at all. And tears up. Okay, not, not too bad. If it paid out with the crystal ball, that would have been a little bit better, because it would have been a reroll pedestal, as well as a... Soul Heart or Tarot card on the spot. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fuck with that. Actually, no. I've got one bomb. I, I should not blow that up. I should blow this up instead, though. Play him three times. I still do have to check the shop. Of course, he gives me another copy of himself. trying to focus a little bit on the bomb flies so that I don't blow myself up with them. Easy peasy. Okay. Dodge plus having the cube of meat. Oh no, damn it. That's fine. That's fine. I don't know how to effectively take these guys out without... Ah, oh, god damn it. I got trapped there. I say without the... Po That's with... Without the left hand. Hmm. Oh well. I wonder if Guppy's tail also affects red chests. I'm not sure. Or increases chance of red chests. Is this where the boss is? Okay, yes it is. Um, I should have re-rolled... Whatever I left, a oh, little Chad. I left little Chad in the item room. I'll take little Chad if what the boss drops is like complete shit, and I re-roll it into something. I'll keep the strength card with me for now. All right, monster two, two should be pretty easy. Just get him stuck like this. cheap way of doing things, but it's very, very effective. As much as I'd like Guppy's head and the mark, you know what? I'm going to take it and I'm going to re-roll it. And it paid out. I'm fucking Guppy. And you know what? Oh no, I'll lose... I'd lose my soul hearts, I think, if I picked up the parasite. I'd really like the parasite. But I'm not gonna chance losing my two soul hearts. Oh shit! There's a health up there. I'm not gonna... Mm. I think I'll go into debt with the devil if I pick up the parasite. My damage is good enough. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna complain. I'm just gonna pick up the health up, finish clearing out this floor. Though I might have been able to use a strength card there. I don't know. I... I didn't expect to actually get two guppy items there, so I didn't really plan ahead. Play this guy a few more times. I 
may just go back and play him until he pays out with uh, hopefully an HP upgrade. That's not guaranteed to happen. Yeah, as Guppy, you get flight. Uh, every time you hit with a tear, you shoot a fly that does twice your damage, I believe. Bum friend is not something I want. But that soul heart definitely is. Finish clearing out the floor for a little bit. This is this run has turned around. I'm probably gonna just well, hopefully gonna end up flying through the rest of this. No nope, pun intended. Oh god. I would have rather have had Guppy's paw than nine lives, but if I can keep a, a decent amount of soul hearts with me, then I think it'll be okay. Go back and pick this up. May as well take a little chat. I've got no reason not to now. I'm hoping to not need to make use of him. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play that that uh, beggar before going to play the uh, the fortune teller machines that are everywhere on this floor. Cause I really want the health up. I mean, I could get more soul hearts out of the out of the fortune tellers than I will health up out of here. But yep, that paid out. I'm very happy about the way I did it, and I still have ten cents to play the crap out of some of this stuff. This is this is going very well. Uh, what are you? You are temperance. I don't want you necessarily. You are wheel of fortune. Um. Hmm. Not exactly what I had expected. No, stop picking up temperance. I don't want temperance. I don't want to accidentally play it. There's only. It's a half heart here, and I think a heart and a half, maybe two hearts in the item room. So that'd be kind of a waste of temperance. I'm going to spend the rest of my money on this thing, though. Uh, cancer's good. I'm going to have to give it up next floor anyway. Soul heart, definitely good. Uh, goat hoof. I'm not going to take it. I'm going to keep cancer with me. But i got to keep going over here to... Oh, that oh, just takes me to deal with the devil. I'm going to save this deal with the devil card for the next floor. Unless... Okay, that's a shop. Um, I'm going to pick the joker card back up, hopefully. Strength. Hermit. Oh god, this is just getting out of control. Cancer and strength. I'd take cancer and the hermit at this point. Goat hoof and hermit. Alright, that Joker card is right there, but it's going to make me pick up Pinky Eye. Alright, I'm good with what I've got. Am I? No, the Joker card's too good, man! Uh. <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to keep Pinky Eye. And that's the Strength card! How the fuck did I pick up the Strength card? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, Joker and Cancer. I got it. I got Cancer, guys. Anyway. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave this floor. This has gone on for a little bit too long. I've gotten some amazing things out of it. I got two guppy items, which got me up to guppy status. I'm back up to three health. I have got five and a half soul hearts. Joker card with me. My damage is just unbelievable. I should be able to just fly through this, man. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to use a key on that. Yeah, just... Jeez. Especially when I get to bosses, the flies are just going to tear them to shreds. Another bomb and a key. And since I can fly... I don't have spectral tears. But I should be able to avoid these things for the most part. They shouldn't be as bad as they normally are. Push pin. I don't really care. Uh, Charm of the Vampire, it's a reroll for me. Black Bean, I'll take it. That seems like a stupid move for me to take the Black Bean over Charm of the Vampire. I should have should have waited for another reroll, but I'm just getting kind of impatient at this point. Um, I'm not even gonna go into the curse room. I'm not. And I'm not gonna worry about getting down to one heart to go into the boss challenge room because fuck it, I don't care at the moment. I'm just I'm thinking I'm in a position where I'm more likely to win now than if I if I wait around. I don't think waiting around and doing everything, full clearing everything, will be enough of a benefit to me. 
at this point with what I've got. I'm not saying this is going to be an instant win because I could still easily die to Isaac or to Blue Baby, but yeah, if, if I don't get something like really good and I don't think I'd be getting something really good out of going full clearing everything, then uh, it's not really going to make much of a much of an increase in my chances. If that makes any sense. I think I was just rambling for a little bit. I don't even know what I'm saying, so... <laughs> Alright. A uh, little bit of slowdown there. That's fine. I'm a little bit nervous of chancing that uh, red chest there. I'm going to go into this, and I'm very glad I did. I have enough money for that soul heart. Yeah! Sweet. Reroll optimization. Now, what are you? Okay, just two spiders. I don't care. At this point, I should go to the friggin' curse room. It's because I've got so many soul hearts. Oh, man. Tinted rocks galore. Are you gonna give me anything? Nope. I don't want to waste my reroll that I'm definitely going to be able to use in the deal with the devil. So I'm just going to clear out the boss and then teleport into the into the uh, devil room. Jeez, not the most damage ever, but man, that's a significant improvement. Just the flies alone. Alright, I may re-roll that, uh, the coin purse. Depends. I don't know what I would take from a deal with the devil, but those are not it. I probably should have kept Guppy's tail, or Guppy's paw with me at that point case I do get any health ups, but I, I'm pretty much going for broke at this point. I can now go into here, and it's a health up. Oh man, that was, that was bad. So if I can go back into the uh, the devil room, I will, and I'll take Guppy's pot of the next floor with me, but that's not a guaranteed chance for me to be able to go in there. And I'm I'm gonna go into the curse room because it's only gonna be half a half a soul heart to get out of there. And I could re-roll what was it? It was a uh, mom's coin purse in the in the thing thinger. The boss room, there we go, my words are leaving me. Uh, okay, going down, going down. This is going a lot better than I expected. This really is. Um I've got no reason to blow you up and make my way through the spider webs yeah okay I don't have guppy's paw anymore that's that's a no-go um yeah I'm gonna reroll it that's another HP upgrade I that might have been a bad choice because there were balls of steel pills in my rotation but I think I'll be fine the womb excel ah man <laughs> Love to have a compass right now and just blast my way through the womb. That is a weird thing to say out loud. That really is. I know there's a lot of things in Isaac that are weird to say out loud, but I think that might have been one of the weirdest. Blast my way through the womb. Um, okay. I don't know what else I could hope for from a deal with the devil at this point. Nah, I didn't mean to do that. Actually, nah, I'm not going to use a key for a chest. Let's try going down. Alright, this will be an easy fight, that's for sure. <laughs> if I need to, to avoid damage, I can just step right here. <laughs> oh, this is a joke. Guppy is so overpowered, but it takes a lot to get to Gup to be Guppy, so 
I don't think it's as broken as, say, the candle, which just takes 15 cents. And is as powerful as it is. Alright, no boss fight this way. But there was almost no fight in there to begin with anyway. Uh, the penny's really worth it. I guess I can actually walk on the spikes because I'm flying. Oh, man. Yeah, I'll play him a few times. I could hope for another key for the chest. Coin purse, one floor too late. Her mom's purse. I probably should have just rerolled that. I didn't think about it at the time. That's fine. Yeah, I definitely should have rerolled that without without doubt, without a doubt. That's okay. It's not like I'm going to get any trinket that I actually want anyway. I think I've gotten most of the ones that I would have kept. Cancer, pinky eye. Another range up pill. I am getting quite a lot of pills. Yeah, and Peep is dead. Tears up. I think it's just probably to the point where my tears are as fast as they're gonna shoot with Polyphemus. <laughs> I think the poison actually got that first monstro. Alright, the boss has got. There we go. I knew I was on the right track. Nah, fuck it. This shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. I did get hit there. I don't want the third level cube of meat, though. But I can actually re-roll it. Because it's on an XL floor. I should be able to re -roll. Oh, I don't know how that works on the Womb XL, though. Because it'll just take from the item pool from the second boss. But Mom's Heart doesn't drop an item. So I don't know how that works. I may end up just wasting a re-roll. Which, that's fine, I guess. Come on. Jeez, man. <laughs> and that was probably one of the fastest Mom's Heart fights I have ever had. I'm going to chance re-rolling this in just in case I can. And it actually worked. Man, I wish I would have kept Guppy's Paw, though. I guess I wouldn't have been able to re-roll that there. But I'm not going to make be able to make use of Polaroid invincibility against Isaac or the Blue Baby. I should still be okay. I mean, I don't have Celtic Cross, which usually saves me if I can't use the Polaroid. I gotta stop relying solely on invincibility items, though. Man, that was a quick fight. That guy's usually a dick. I just had to wait for my, uh, my fly to finish that one off. Uh, yeah, why not? Alright. Is this the boss fight? No, it's not. As long as I don't use too many of my abundance, abundant soul hearts. I, I don't even know what the words that I'm trying to say are sometimes anymore. Wah! That did not hurt me. That didn't hurt me either. That did... I mean, I still do have nine lives, don't get me wrong, but if I die on this one, uh, those other eight lives are not going to be not gonna be good. This is the best chance that I have at winning. I wish I had Spectral Tears. It's the one thing that I'm missing that I would really, really like. I didn't go to the deal with the devil on the last floor. I don't know if there is one on this floor. I don't know how that works. This is just transport me to a random room? I did find the boss, though. You know what? I don't want to chance it. I'm just not going to use this Joker card. I'm good. I'm good with not spending hearts. Unless I could spend all of them. I don't know. I don't feel like having to fight my way through it if, it's, if it doesn't work. Ah, oh, man. Okay, I'm getting through him, like really quickly, his health is going down very, very quickly. The 
because of the flies, mostly. Yeah, that was a lot easier than I had anticipated. I'm gonna see if I can do this. I want Spectral Tears. I really wanted Spectral Tears there. <laughs> I mean, I could already fly. And that those that extra two health, that might have actually come in handy. Oh man, now I wish I had that Temperance card. Two of spades. Yeah, might as well. Alright. Here we go. Um, I don't want any of this. Not at all. Reroll it. I could have picked up Dead Sea Scrolls to get it out of thing, but I didn't want to chance it being a terrible item. All right, chest shouldn't be too awful to clear out. I'm hoping. I'll take. It. There we go. If I get hit, yeah, if I get hit a couple times, just means my my die. My D6 is going to charge faster. So I've already got a reroll to go back to that four chest room. And at this point, I'm really hoping for something that will help me. That will actually be good. I'll take that. I have no use for any of this. No use for any of that. This is probably not even going to be the way to the boss. Oh, it is! Holy shit! Alright, here goes. I don't have any uh, beneficial space bar item or card or pill, but this would be a hell of a way to... Shit! It'd be a hell of a way to shit. A hell of a way to end this week. If I can avoid taking four more hits. This is intense, but I think I got it at this point. Awesome! Awesome. Awesome. Thank you guys very much for watching. Beginning of the video was very disappointing with that blue baby thing, but we... Oh man, that was that was a lot of fun. Thank you very much for watching, and for watching this, this week's series at all. Next week I'll be back with a different game. Until then, take it easy.